So hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another Way of the Hunter video and oh my gosh there has just been a third dev diary shared by Nine Rocks Games and this time they were going over the trophy lodge and oh my gosh it is just an amazing dev diary that once again has only increased my excitement for this game and yeah we're just going to start off by you guys taking a look at this dev diary and then we'll talk about it and go through everything that they showed off. Hello and welcome to another episode of our Dev Diary series for Way of the Hunter. This time we are going to take a closer look at the Hunting Lodge. You can think of the lodge as your home base in both Nespers Valley and in Transylvania. Each location has its own main lodge where you can display your trophies, manage your equipment, buy new gear, check your email, and more. Each lodge has large rooms filled with taxidermy stands and empty diorama scenes for you to populate with your best trophies. Let's take a look at how that works. When you harvest an animal, you get the choice to either sell its meat for money or to save it later for taxidermy. Once you earn enough money to have your trophy taxidermied, you just select the right stand or one of the empty diorama scenes. Make sure that you share your best pieces with us and with the community on our official Discord. The lodge is also where you can find your laptop. It gives you access to the in-game store where you can purchase new gear and hunting passes with the money you earn by selling game meat. You can also check your inbox for new meat orders from local restaurants or to get updates on the game's backstory. You can also access your storage locker to equip the right gear for your next hunt. Last but not least, the lodge is a place to stretch your legs and advance in game time by sleeping. Our animals have their own daily rhythms and advancing time until your preferred time is a convenient way of increasing your odds of finding the animal you want in the place you want, either its feeding, drinking or resting zone. Right outside the lodge is where you will find your parking spot. From the parking sign, you can pick the vehicle you want, recall it and be on your way. If you find yourself on the road and in need of different gear, the trunk of your car will provide easy access access to your full storage. And because our locations are pretty large and it's not always convenient to come back to the lodge, each location has a number of smaller cabins and campsites. These provide you with a place to rest when you find yourself far away from home. So get out there, fill those trophy stands and do take a break once in a while. We'll see you again soon. So where to begin with this one? What an absolutely awesome dev diary. Just so much shown off in there that, you know, there was obviously a lot about the hunting lodge itself being that's what this dev diary was about, but also a lot of hidden details in this dev diary as well. But let's just start off by talking about the lodges. They look absolutely gorgeous and I love the idea of having a lodge per map. And the taxidermy and how it's displayed in the lodges looks absolutely incredible to me. These diorama scenes look so incredibly cool. And I'm just so excited to see that that is something that's going to be in game. And oh, they just look awesome. I think they look really, really cool. And there's a lot of different options, as you can see, as they go through the list here. Um, yeah, like wolf attacking a chamois, all the different deer in little groups. I think this is going to be a really awesome lodge system and I cannot wait to actually put some uh, put some taxidermy in there and see what it all looks like in game. We also see there some of the rifles, we see some callers, we get some idea about some of the story through uh through the laptop and you know some of the missions that were going to be a thing, you know, supplying meat for restaurants and stuff. We learn about the fact that you'll be able to change the time of day here with the bed, which is something I expected. I expected you'd be able to change the time of day. And again, talking about the fact that certain times you'll probably find certain animals doing certain activities. Um, we get to take a look at the vehicles and how these are going to be used in game. The fact that we can use the vehicles as like a movable storage, um, I think that's really, really cool because it means if you need to change your equipment whilst you're out and about, you have it there. Leopold Scopes just being casually shown off there, so that's another confirmed brand. We thought that Leopold were going to be in the game based off of some early early screenshots that we saw, but there it is clear as day, so that's really, really awesome. Just another brand casually dropped in there. Just, like I said, there's just so much more in this dev diary than just about the lodge, which is really, really cool to me. Just so many little things that have just been dropped in there. Now... 
I found it really cool to see about, like I said, with the with the laptop and the fact that there's going to be like missions that you can go and complete to get certain meat for restaurants, etc. And as was mentioned, like you can take a look at some story stuff through there as well. I think that this is a really, really cool system. I really, really like this. I'm just really actually happy to see a bit more on the lodges because to me a trophy lodge is what keeps me coming back to a game it's you know looking for those best specimens to put into my trophy lodge the biggest the rarest animals that i can possibly find and then having a a really nice space to actually show them off and have them there as a memory as well of that hunt that's something that's really really important to me and these spaces look aesthetically beautiful and i really like the dioramas already that we saw there and there looks to be a ton more now, something else that we saw there was some passes for different locations. Now, there was some discussion about this in the Discord and whether it means that the maps are going to be sort of split up into different areas and whether that means that you'll have to, like, purchase passes to actually get access to certain different areas on the map. I wouldn't mind that at all. I, you know... I'm going to spend a lot of time in this game and as long as there's plenty of stuff to spend my money on, that's what I really look for. I don't like to just have loads and loads and loads of money and nothing to spend it on. So I'll be really intrigued to see how that actually works. Again, it's going to be something that as we play the game, we can see how that fits in and how that actually feels when you play the game. I think this is quite a, a cool thing. And something else I was really, really pleased to see was the fact that there are callers in the game. I... You know, it was something that you pretty much expect in the hunting game, but until you see everything for sure, it's kind of like, there is callers, right? But to see the callers, I was really happy to, to actually see that, because I like to get really close to animals. You guys will have seen that in my videos with other hunting games, and especially if it's like a really cool specimen, whether it's a really big trophy or a rare trophy, I do enjoy getting as close to them as possible and enjoying that, that extra challenge of getting close to to them and callers are a pretty important part of that in a lot of circumstances so that was really awesome to see as well just a lot of really really good details in this dev diary i think and i think this will answer a lot of questions for a lot of different people um it certainly answered a lot of questions that I had about how the trophy lodges were going to work, which was one of my main questions about the game, honestly, because like I said, it's such an important thing. Um, you don't want to be going and spending hundreds of hundreds of hours trying to find these really awesome trophies and then just not have any sort of record of them at all. So yeah, really, really pleased to see that and to see that they've put a lot of detail into the trophy lodges as they have with everything else. So yeah really cool we also got a very very quick glimpse there of some bushnell equipment so it looks like bushnell is going to be another brand here in this game so again just little details dropped in throughout this dev diary that are definitely worth you know if you go and watch the dev diary a few times through the more you watch it the more more stuff you'll see which i think is pretty cool um, yeah, I'm just really super impressed. Now, I know I've been saying that a lot about this game, but genuinely, so far, what we've seen has impressed me. Now, one concern that I might have is that the lodges do not appear to be massive, especially the European lodge, but you know, if it's hard to get big and rare trophies in this game, which is what I'm really hoping for, and maybe, you know, it's not going to be, oh, you're constantly finding huge trophies, so you're not going to have tons and tons and tons to put into a lodge, then it could work almost better to have a smaller space where you just have your absolute best specimens. So, that's going to be something that, I again, will be intrigued to see through gameplay how that actually ends up working out because I I don't want to get to a point where you know if I've got a, quite a few trophies from playing the game for a long time I don't want to get to a point where I've run out of of space in a lodge and I don't know whether we'll be able to maybe purchase additional lodges in future or something like that 
But like I said, again, it's going to very much depend on how the game actually plays. I get the feeling that getting really big and rare trophies is going to be quite uh, quite a challenge in this game, which is something I would really like. And then in that case, like I said, having a smaller lodge is going to be absolutely no problem at all, because then you will just select very, uh, very carefully which specimens you're putting on display. But so far what we've seen super super happy with i love the diorama idea i think that's really awesome to see um yeah pretty much just really excited about everything that we saw during this dev diary and once again i can't wait to actually get my hands on this game i am so incredibly excited so you guys will have to let me know down in the comments what you think about this dev diary is there anything you saw in it that concerns you anything that excites you because i'm always curious to hear different people's input on the game now i know that there were some people that once again were concerned about the need zones being a thing in this game but once again, as I've mentioned in previous videos, they're not going to be, um, I, I use the word static, but I, what I mean is that, that the animals aren't always going to show up at the same need zones from what's been said. And there's going to be like a chance that they'll be there. And it's almost more like uh, they have like a routine, but it's not like they're always going to be there sort of thing, which I, I talked about in a, in a previous video a little bit more fully, but yeah, to me, I think this is a pretty ideal way that they've done everything so far. Now, of course, I can't give a full opinion until obviously I've had the game in my hands and I've actually played it myself. But as we've seen more and more information coming out and, you know, through these dev diaries, through the trailers, etc., pretty much this is sounding like my dream hunting game. It's got all of the systems and mechanics in it so far that I have or you know always wanted like from managing your animals to make them better quality on your maps um just everything we've seen so far has been really appealing to me but of course when i do finally get my hands on this game i will of course as always give you guys a full and honest opinion on it i i'm not going to shy away if there's something that i don't like but so far everything that we have seen is really appealing to me and has been what I've been wanting in a hunting game really since I started playing hunting games. So that's why I sound so excited when, when making these videos is because it almost feels like these guys are inside my head when it's like, this is what I've been dreaming of in a hunting game. So we'll have to see, you know, it's getting closer and closer to the release date of the 16th. So yeah, really, really excited to see everything that's going to happen in the lead up to that release and then of course the release itself. But that is going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. I will link their official Discord and, of course, uh, a link to this dev diary in the description of the video so you guys can go and show them some love and, of course, leave any thoughts or criticisms that you have as well. But, yeah, I'm really, really excited and I'd be really keen to hear what you guys think too because it's always interesting to me to hear everyone's opinions on this and, you know, the different takes that there are on certain things. But yeah, really, really keen to actually see this game come out and I can't wait to play it, honestly. I cannot wait to play this game. I am so incredibly excited for it and yeah, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. But anyway, I will stop rambling now. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.